Trevor is a vintage traction engine who lives in the Vicarage Orchard, which is located near Edwards Branch Line. From time to time, his driver, Jen Cole, comes to see him and always made sure he is polished and well-oiled. Whenever there's a church fate, Trevor comes out to give children rides. This is his favorite kind of work, though he used to do much more back then. In the old days, Trevor used to work on the many farms on Sodor alongside other traction engines. He threshed corn, hauled logs, and sawed timber. But nowadays, his time is spent working in the vicarage doing errands for his owner, the Reverend Charles Laxey. Sometimes, however, Trevor passes his days longingly looking out at the vicarage orchard if there isn't any work for him to do. This often made him feel depressed. One day, Edward passed by. He saw Trevor resting in the orchard, looking rather sad. Good morning, Trevor. Why the long face? I never get to go anywhere like I used to be. Day in and day out, I'm left sitting in my shed. What about the church fates? And you do plenty of other work such as sawing wood in the winter. I know, but it's not that, Edward. It's just, whenever I see you and the other engines traveling about the island every day, you always get to see new people and new things, especially to faraway places like the mainland. It can get a little boring here seeing the same thing every day, if you know what I mean. Edward felt sorry for his friend. He didn't know what to say as he went back to work. Later, he was talking to Bogo about the situation. Poor Trevor. I know exactly how he feels not doing much as time goes by. Mind you, it would be nice to have another chance at pulling the express again. Edward agreed. He knew Trevor doesn't like feeling left out, but he couldn't think of anything that would make him feel better. Then, just a few evenings later, Trevor was sitting alone in his shed when he saw the vicar and Jem Cole walking towards him, looking very excited. Evening, Trevor. The Reverence and I have some very good news for you. We've just received a letter that there's going to be a special steam rally taking place over at the mainland this week. And Jem and I thought it would be a great opportunity to enter you in it. There will be other traction engines and steamrollers attending the event, too. Oh, that will be lovely. I haven't been to the mainland in a while since I was first built. When will I be going? You will be traveling by ship first thing tomorrow. I have arranged for Edward to come and pick you up so that he will take you to the docks right away. Yes, sir, but there is a problem, though. What's wrong, Trevor? Don't you want to go? I do want to go, Jem, but... I just don't know about going on a boat. What if I get all wet and rust, and I can't float, you know? Ha 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 ha! Oh, you silly engine! You don't have to float! Only the ship can, and you'll be on top of it! They'll just fasten you to the deck to make sure you don't roll about on the journey! Trust me, there really is nothing to worry about. Trevor was rather apprehensive, but still excited about going to the mainland on a big trip. The next morning, Edward arrived with a well wagon to take Trevor down to the docks. Hello, Trevor. Are you excited about going to the mainland? Yes, I am, Edward. Though, I'm still a little nervous about traveling by ship. I mean, it sounds a little different in comparison to traveling by road and rail. Don't worry about it. I'm sure one little voyage won't hurt at all. In no time, Trevor was loaded on the wagon, and Edward took him along the branch line to Brendam Docks. Thank you.
When they arrived, they found the ship waiting for them. Bill and Ben, the tank engine twins, were playing with trucks nearby. Oh look, Ben! It's Trevor! I know, Bill. It's not every day you see him down at the docks. But what's he doing here then? Oh, hello you two. I've just been invited to take part in a steam rally over on the mainland. Ooh, congratulations. Um, what's a steam rally? It's like a special gathering exhibition of historic vehicles and machinery of all shapes and sizes. There's even all kinds of fun and activities such as parades, fairgrounds, and much more. Wow, that sounds pretty exciting. But then, who's doing your work in the Vicarage Orchard? Oh, don't worry. There isn't that much for me to do over there. Well, Trevor, best of luck on your journey then. Workmen fastened big chains all around Trevor so that Cranky could lift him up. Oh, I don't like this. I think I feel a little dizzy. Well, it certainly looks like you certainly can fly, Trevor. <laughs> Ahem. Just keep calm and stay still. I know what I'm doing. At last, Trevor was placed safely on the ship's deck and was chained up for his long trip. There! See? I told you I got it! You didn't think I was going to drop you, would I? <laughs> no. No, not at all. You were very good, actually. Well, looks like I'll be sailing off now. Farewell, my friends! I'll make sure to tell you all about it when I come home. Bon voyage, Trevor. Bon voyage, what now? It's just a figure of speech, Ben. It means good luck to someone when they're away on a trip. Oh. Well, um, goodbye, Trevor. The rest of the week on Sodor was very busy, but the engines on the Brendan branch line never forgot about Trevor. They had all wondered how he was getting on and couldn't wait for him to come home. But I'm afraid to say this wasn't going to be the case. One afternoon, on the day the traction engine was due back, Bill and Ben were chuffing down to Brendan docks with a load of china clay. They have been wondering about Trevor more than anyone. I wonder what he's doing now, Ben. Beats me, Bill, but I can't wait to see him back. A few minutes later, they had parked their trucks in a siding and were just about to head back when they heard voices from close by. It was the dock manager, and to the twins' surprise, he was talking to the vicar. They tried listening to what they were saying, but unfortunately, Murdoch had just pulled in with a long goods train, so his noisy puffing had drowned out a little bit of the conversation. But what they do hear were words like, 
change of plans, and not coming back. Oh dear, I was really looking forward to seeing him again. I hope Trevor's doing better on the mainland than here, I suppose. Oh my god, Trevor's not coming back? We must tell Edward the news. Bill and Ben raced out of the docks as fast as their wheels could carry them. They didn't stop until they reached Wellsworth Yard where Edward was having a rest. Whoa now, steady you two. What's the rush? Oh, oh Edward, Edward, Trevor, Trevor isn't, isn't coming, coming home. home. We overheard the dock manager talking to the vicar, and he said there's been a change of plan. And the vicar thinks that Trevor is doing far more better on the mainland than here. Now hold on, I'm pretty sure there's more to it than you two first thought. Maybe his ship got delayed, or perhaps there could be some complications over there that we probably don't even know about. Hmm, easy for you to say, but I bet he could have made some new friends by now. Yeah, maybe he'll decide not to come back at all, and leaving us behind like that. Nonsense, you two. Trevor will return, I know. He's not that type of engine who would leave his friends behind. I'm sure he misses us more than we miss him, but the main thing to remember is that Trevor is still our friend. But secretly, Edward felt concerned too. At last, the day came for Trevor to return. Edward was sent down to the docks to pick him up. The big ship had just come in, and there, sitting on the deck, was... Trevor! Hello, Edward! Ha 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 ha! Soon, Trevor was lowered onto Edward's flat truck, and the blue engine took him back to the vicarage orchard. So tell me, Trevor, how was your first time at the rally? Oh, I have lots of news to tell all of you. Believe me, you should have been there, Edward. I've never seen so many traction engines from all around. Every make and model was there. Some engines had canopies for their drivers to sit under, and there were steamrollers too. And you'll never guess who attended the rally as well, George! I bet he was really enjoying himself, didn't he? Well, kinda, despite being grumpy as always. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've made lots of new friends. Anything else? Well, I was able to catch upon some old friends of mine who I used to work with in the old days, and a lot of people came to see us too. They have come for games, rides, and many other activities. I told them all about the work I used to do in the vicarage, and about you and the others back on Sodor. How marvelous. You certainly must have had a wonderful time. But if I may ask, what kept you from coming home last week? Oh yes, well, I was originally scheduled to return home to Sodor after my time there, that is, until one of the traction engines who was supposed to take part in a special parade at the rally had a little accident, so I volunteered to take his place. So that explains why you didn't return until now. Bill and Ben thought you weren't coming back, and that you were going to stay on the mainland for good. Did they now? Well, it looks like we'll have to put that matter right straight away. Ha 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 ha! Soon, Edward arrived at the Vicarage Orchard. Trevor was soon unloaded, and the Vicar was so pleased to see him again. Just then, Bill and Ben puffed up with a small goods train. Well, look who it is, Bill. 
it's the so-called Traitor Engine, who has finally decided to come back to Sodor after all. Hello, you two. Edward has told me how you both thought I wasn't going to return home again. Well, yeah, but what gives? And so Trevor explained the exact same thing he told Edward. Bill and Ben were most abashed and a little silly. Oh, we're sorry, Trevor. Yeah, we didn't know what was happening until now. We just kind of, well, misunderstood, if you know what we're talking about. Oh, that's all right. All is forgiven. You know, going to the mainland was all very exciting, but I'm so glad to be back home again. I've missed you all very much. And we missed you too, Trevor. Welcome home. <laughs>